Hey everybody, welcome to this week's video update. I am your host on this adventure, Matt DeWolf, Editor-in-Chief of Car Wash Magazine. Hey, today is Tuesday, August 23rd, and first, a very important update for you on what we talked about last week, which is those parallel lines. See, they're still running neck and neck, uh, and early indications show no signs of them meeting anytime soon. So, uh, if you know, you know, friends. Here we go. So, what else do we have going on this week? It's been a big week in car wash, uh, friends, because um, you may have seen or heard uh, there's a Wall Street Journal article featuring uh, the car wash industry and private equity's interest. And so, we've all known this for a long time, and we've been seeing it and living it and breathing it. Uh, but guess what? It's in the public eye now. It's much more mainstream. So you can expect lots more eyeballs, lots more interest on the car wash industry. Uh, good, bad, or indifferent. That's what it is, folks. Uh, so get yourselves ready for that. Now, uh, coming up uh, in a, the event space, we've got uh, October 18th through 19th. This is the Women's Leadership Experience uh, by the International Car Wash Association. And so uh, this has been reimagined a bit from what it used to be pre-COVID uh, era. And it's going to be a two-day residency at Villanova. Super great program. Check that out at carwash.org slash WLE uh, and get some more information. Send your up-and-coming uh, females in the car wash industry. Really awesome opportunity. Now, what else do we have? Well, we've got uh, on Thursday of this week, that's August 25th, uh, we have an exciting panel for you all about how you can build a culture that can transcend generations. So this is really around um, three great car wash families and what they've done in their business to make sure that that business is going to outlast them. Uh, and so we've got three greats. We've got um, Justin Alford from Benny's. We've got Bill Martin from Metro Express. And we've got Tom Hoffman Jr. from Hoffman uh, Car Wash. So those, those three have a great conversation lined up for you on the 25th. Okay. What else is going on this week in Car Wash? Well, let's go into the realm of uh, Greenfield activity. So we've got Mammoth opening its newest Alabama location. Uh, Mammoth Holdings, uh, for those of you who maybe haven't read the article yet, was heavily featured in that Wall Street Journal article. So expect uh, to get those phone calls, friends, because uh, private equity is looking, Wall Street Journal is looking, lots of people are looking at this industry. So be prepared. The press is going to start calling. All right. What else do we have going on? We're going to put this in the bucket of mergers and acquisitions activity. We've got Home Team Car Wash down in Tampa. Uh, they have sold to Modwash. Uh, Commercial Plus represented Home Team in that transaction, and um, that's down in Tampa. So that's one spot of the country. Let's see where we're going next. Well, this one's going to be hard to say. So <laughs> quick, quick quack. Uh, if you can say that seven times fast, you are better than I, my friends. Quick quack, quick quack, quick quack. <laughs> so Quick Quack is expanding with Gorilla Wash out in Utah. So there's Tampa. We've got Utah. What else do we have? Well, uh, we have uh, Blue Equity. Uh, they're seeing spots, friends, because they are investing in Cheetah Clean Car Wash. Uh, that's a Kentucky-based operation for now. Uh, but I expect that they will be uh, expanding rapidly and uh, getting into uh, other states nearby very, very soon. So that's what's happening in our Greenfield and our M&A activity, let's go into some other activities, shall we? Because there's a lot happening this week in Car Wash. So, Everwash, they've been named to Inc.'s 5000 list. Guess what else? So has G&G Industrial Lighting. They've also been named to that uh, prestigious uh, Inc. 5000 list. Congratulations to both of those organizations. Uh, there is more. I have more news for you. Uh, we, we commit to you to do this in seven minutes or less. We're hustling today, friends, because we got a lot to cover. Uh, here's one more. This is really interesting stuff. Okay, so uh, given everything that's been going on, right, uh, inflationary pressures, uh, we saw gas prices spike, um, you may be wondering, are, are, is that going to have an impact? Are consumers going to stop washing their car? Well, new research from International Car Wash Association would suggest that consumer car wash demand remains high in spite despite <laughs> whatever you want to say of all these factors it remains high so we did some research we we did kind of a um a brief consumer study uh survey so we could get this data we're going to do a presentation on that we'll have more information about the date of that presentation for you coming up soon but the good news here friends is that uh so far so far consumer car wash demand remains high so you know, wipe the sweat from your brow, get that dirt off your shoulder, and let's uh, keep it clean for another day. 
Okay, what else do I have? Well, I had talked about uh, I had talked about with you all uh, about the women's leadership experience. We've we've shared some information about um, the Executive Management Institute, which is another event that ICA does. They just wrapped that event, um, and so I wanted to share with you just a little bit of that experience uh, from straight from one of the attendees. Um, this is uh, Pedro Hernandez from Great White Express talking about his time uh, at the Executive Management Institute. Um, it's so much different than going to school. I went to school for business and uh, I thought I learned a lot about business, but this puts you in a perspective of real life scenarios. Uh, and I think that's what is different about this class. And uh, you know, having the collaboration of other people and other minds in the business, it has given me an opportunity to, as a new manager to grow uh, and to learn from those guys and to create long lasting relationships that will uh, definitely enhance our business. All right, so there you have it, friends. That is a uh, quick soundbite for you of what it's like at the Executive Management Institute, a fantastic program. Everybody that goes loves that program. And uh, frankly, it's just indicative of the kinds of events and the kinds of programs that International Car Wash Association puts on for this industry. So really great stuff. If you have not been able to take part in one of ICA's programs, I suggest you do so, friends, because it's well worth the investment. All right. That's all I got for you guys this week. Uh, it is going to be a fantastic week for you all. I know it. But when you're out there, all right, before you do this one thing, make sure that if you're listening to us, if you're reading our stuff, if you are watching our videos, that you are giving us feedback. Friends, we want to know how we're doing. We want to know if you've got a great story to share because we exist to share those stories and to lift up this professional car wash industry through those positive stories. All right. When you're out there, there's one thing you have to do, and by now, uh, you should know exactly what that thing is, and that is keep it clean.